Welcome back to Break Hard. I'm Matt. The question today is Will Bristol be Redneck Jesus? The second. Welcome back to Break Hard. I'm Matt. Is Bristol Motor Speedway set to be the last ever NASCAR Xfinity Series start for Redneck Jesus, the second coming, NASCAR's most popular driver, my future boss? That last part is not true at all. But will Bristol be Dale Jr.'s last ever NASCAR Xfinity Series start? His sister, Kelly Earnhardt, who is also co owner within Junior Motorsports, went on to Series XM NASCAR this week and said that they currently don't have anything on the map for Dale Jr. Now, ever since he retired from the NASCAR Cup Series at the end of the 2017 season, he's made at least one start in the NASCAR Xfinity Series. Last year, he made two starts. This year, he'll be making his lone start at Bristol Motor Speedway, a track that he started at last year, led some laps, and looked like he'd be in contention late until he literally caught on fire, and he got out, and he was like, y'all see my leg on fire? <laughs> like, yeah, dude, we, we see. I can't believe you're that, this excited about it. But every time he gets in a NASCAR Xfinity Series car, he's competitive, right? He's finishing in the top 10, the top 5 uh, half the time, it seems like. He's He's had some mediocre runs here and there. Obviously, his run at Richmond a couple years ago, he didn't finish in the top 10. Uh, same with his run at Martinsville, but he kind of contributed that to just being like, I don't want to race the fall Martinsville race with the Xfinity Series because it's a little bit out of control. But for the most part, when he runs at Richmond or Bristol or Homestead, uh, even Darlington, he's running competitively. And for a guy to just be able to hop off the couch, make his one start and run in the top five, is actually really impressive. If Dale Jr. ran a full Xfinity Series season, like he would be an absolute championship contender. He would win races at this point. The guy still very much has the skill at hand. But will Bristol be his last race? Some people are going to point towards, yeah, I could see him, you know, getting out of it, right? He's 50. He's not going to want to do this anymore. I'm not entirely sure it's going to be. Now, here's why. I use my big brain. I was sitting around racking my brain going, man, is this really going to be Dale Jr.'s last time? And then I remembered his company, Dale Earnhardt Jr. Holdings, has applied for the trademark of the number eight, specifically the number eight font from his DEI days. And now he's going to get that. It will be granted to him. It will be awarded to him probably not until the first quarter of 2025. But when it is... Why would Dale Jr. not want to run that in the Xfinity Series at least one time? This is the number that he made famous in the Cup Series for all those years. The red number eight, Budweiser, Chevrolet. Dale Earnhardt Jr., I feel like, absolutely needs to race the eight one more time in the Xfinity Series. Maybe with a throwback Budweiser paint scheme as well. Or just get Budweiser to hop on the car for a one-off at this point. But I don't see Dale Jr. leaving the Xfinity Series without racing the number eight. Not only did my big brain work about the idea of them having the number eight uh, trademark, I also got to thinking, wait a second, could they just sign Connor Zillish to drive full-time the Xfinity Series in that number 88 car? So Dale can't drive the 88. The only number out there would be potentially the eight. And if Sam Mayer leaves the team, they can move Sammy Smith into the number one car back with the pilot flying J scheme, just like he's Michael Annette. That would free up the number eight for them to have a rotating cast through that car, maybe a Carson Quapel, somebody along those lines, if they don't have a full-time season for him. And then, hey, you know what? Your guy that owns the team made that number eight famous. Maybe you could put him in the card. I don't know. Just using my big brain here, doing some critical thinking, trying to process my way through this and try to connect some dots here. Today's video is sponsored by Driven Sunglasses. Hat and shirt on today. Head over to drivensunglasses.com. Check out what they have on offer. Use code BREAKCARD for 20% off plus free shipping. I am very much a fan of the classic sunglasses as well as the camber sunglasses. These ones right here. So drivensunglasses.com. Josh Berry, SVG, myself. We all wear them. See if they have a pair that fits you today. Now I know on his podcast, he said that he doesn't really have any big plans for the eight. It's more of like they just want to own it at this point, which I absolutely understand. He said that they don't even really have a big plan to roll out a whole bunch of, uh, you know, throwback merch or anything like that. Like we've seen with some of the NASCAR classic lines, including his dad's number three, the Gordon 24 number. I mean, heck, Tim Richmond's even got uh, merch at the NASCAR classics hauler. So, yeah, I could see him at least wanting to run the eight one more time. It would just make sense, right? He ran the three one more time in the Xfinity Series. And then, of course, for whatever reason, RCR decided to let Scott Legacy, Brendan Gaughan, Austin Dillon, Ty Dillon, a whole bunch of people run the number three car, and it kind of just lost its luster down there. But hey, at least Dale got a win in that three car with the Wrangler throwback Dale Senior paint scheme. And of course, the conspiracy theorists are going to come out about that. But seeing him run the number eight car, 
yeah, we really want to see that. That would be exciting. It's like being a coyote in the suburbs and hearing these millennial parents let their chickens out to free roam in their backyard. You're about to eat nice for that day. Dale Jr. running the eight car. He's about to make a lot of money back from doing that. If they do sell merch for that number eight car, he's going to be eating nicer than he already is. I mean, heck, they put out the three merch for his sun drop stuff from the late models. And that stuff is at every racetrack that you go to. Great on them. Great on sun drop as well. I mean, they're even selling Hey Dude sun drop. Uh, shoes at this point for Junior Motorsports, which, listen, $75. First off, I'm not a Hey Dudes guy. Probably does not shock any of you uh, to hear that. But getting like lime green looking shoes, that that's just why. Why are we doing this? Please don't do that. Uh, you will. I'll see him at the racetrack. But man, that is just not a fashion statement I would want to be making at this point, certainly Jordan Bianchi would never make that. So let me know what you think about Dale Jr. possibly returning to the Xfinity Series next year, uh, or maybe he's done at the end of this year. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at Break Hard, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Break Hard Blog.